Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is October 16th, 2018. <clears throat> and I just um, was led to share a dream that I had last night from the Lord. So in this dream, there were many people all dressed in wedding clothes. And everyone was walking like in a big circle and very anxious to get to the place where we'd all be married. And as we were all walking, I saw a woman's decapitated head lying on the ground. A man in the wedding party lying with us saw the head at the same time that I did. And this man picked up the woman's head and I noticed that she was trying to, to talk even though her head was separated from her body. Then this man took her head to report it to the authorities in charge of the wedding ceremony. There was another girl that I was close with in the wedding party that I told that I knew, I told her that I knew who had decapitated the woman, but she didn't believe me. I knew the man who had done this to this woman was a Chinese man and he was with a Chinese woman. And somehow they both knew that I knew it was them. So I was very careful when we walked by them because they were there at this wedding party too, but they were not a part of it. I knew in the dream that most of the wedding party trusted this man and woman. Then I saw a bottle of yellow mustard and I wanted to hand it to everyone in the wedding party. And I believe that this symbolized um, having faith in the body of Christ and Jesus. I knew the wedding was going to take place in the daytime in this dream. And I knew that it was going to be taking place soon. And all of the wedding party was walking on ice, but I knew it would not break. And I noticed a figure skater skating at a distance, and many of the people were watching her skate. But it was bothering me that they were watching her skate, like it was distracting them and slowing them down. Then I noticed a baby blanket on a wall with family photos on it. And when I walked by this place a second time, the blanket was gone and only a few of the pictures remained. So the other day I posted a vision I had about the words um, Chan Design High School and seeing a Chinese man that looked kind of, he looked like Asian and Spanish at the same time, but more Chinese. And I found out by following the nudgings of the Holy Spirit, um, I found a school that is financed by Bill Gates and Chan Zuckerberg. And I found out that Chan Zuckerberg is married to Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg is the grandson of David Rockefeller. So now I had this new dream of a Chinese man and woman that I knew had decapitated this woman. So the Holy Spirit nudged me to check Israel News this morning. One of Canada's top scientists says he's surprised and dismayed at administrative matter resulted in the sudden eviction of a prominent Chinese Canadian virologist, her biologist husband, and her students from Canada's only level four lab in Winnipeg and prompted an RCMP investigation. A Chinese man and woman. Sources say, I'm not even going to tr try to pronounce her name, mm -hmm. and her husband, Keting Chang, were escorted from the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg on July 5th. Since then, the University of Manitoba has ended their appointments, reassigned her graduates, graduate students and cautioned staff, students and faculty about traveling to China. I think it's unfortunate. It's all speculation. We have no idea what the investigation is about. The fact that RCMP is involved to me doesn't mean anything at all because they just need somebody external to, to their investigation. So everybody trusted them, just like in the dream I had of the wedding party. Um, everybody trusted the Chinese man and woman.
that were responsible for murder. And I believe that the woman woman's head that I saw that was decapitated, this how, somehow, I don't know if it's maybe going to be a vaccine that's linked with Bill Gates for this virus, but I, I believe that somehow it's going to be tied into the mark of the beast that will, you know, cause people to become decapitated if they believe in Jesus and don't take the mark. I'm not sure, brothers and sisters, but yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to link um this all below this video um, just felt led to reshare this because I do believe that this is all kind of tied to what's happening right now so keep your faith that mustard seed of faith don't be distracted by what's going on with this right now because we're about to be we're about to go home brothers and sisters I love you all. God bless you. Hold fast.